Hey guys, how's everybody doing this fine day? I uh, just wanted to get on and share a quick video just answering a question um, what does one need to believe to be saved to go to heaven to be justified to be forgiven of their sins um, a lot of people try to complicate this a lot of people try and twist it a lot of people try and take away from it uh, the Bible makes it explicitly clear though you guys the Bible tells us that we are saved by the gospel what is the gospel and it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 1 through 4 Paul starts it out by saying moreover brethren I declare unto you the gospel the gospel which we received which we believed wherein we stand and by which we are saved. Obviously I'm paraphrasing, I don't have a Bible in front of me. Um, but it goes on to say in verses three and four, it says how that Christ, so I wanna stop there and let's talk about Christ. Christ, a lot of people just, I don't know what it is, but it just follows the name Jesus, right? Jesus Christ. A lot of people, I don't know if people think it's his last name or what, but no, Christ means something. It's when we read that, it should should be reading it like this. Jesus the Christ. He is the anointed one, the promised one, the Messiah, the one that was, the, behold, the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. So, it's important to not only believe the gospel, which is what I was getting at, how that Christ died for our sins and was buried and rose again the third day. Um, so it's important to make sure you are believing and trusting in the right Christ, the right Messiah. The Bible tells us in John 1.1, 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Uh, verse 14 in that same chapter, the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Jesus is God in the flesh. The Bible also tells us that only God can forgive sins. So if Jesus is not God, and he's just a mere man, uh, or a created being, as the Bible warns about false messiahs, false Christ, and false gospels, it's important to have the right one. There's only one that can save, and that is the Jesus of the Bible, the eternally existent Son of God, God the Son, the second part of the Trinity, um, or in Bible words, second part of the Godhead. So it's important that you are believing in Jesus Christ, God the Son. Um, for example, I was brought up LDS, and Mormons believe that Jesus is uh, the offspring of Heavenly Father and Mother, a created being. Uh, Muslims believe that he was just a good prophet, but he did die, uh, and he did not rise again. And then you've got, for example... The Jehovah Witnesses who believe he is Michael the Archangel, again, a created being, not the Jesus of the Bible, and not God, not somebody who can forgive, not the only one who can forgive your sins. So what is required to be saved? It's believing that Christ, Jesus, died for our sins, was buried and rose again the third day, and paid that sin debt that we owe as the Bible says the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord so don't complicate it if anybody adds anything to that they are preaching a false gospel whether it's front-loaded or back-loaded um, God gives us eternal life it's not something that we can earn on our, of our own and it's not something that we can maintain and keep of ourselves it is him that keeps us saved it's jesus that preserves us so again if you have not received christ as your savior if you have not made a personal and believed that jesus christ died was buried and rose again the third day for the forgiveness of your sins i pray that you do that today and receive everlasting life if you have trusted in that gospel message and that alone Bible tells you that you are immediately, permanently, and eternally saved, sealed, sanctified, 
that you are justified, made righteous. You are a child of God. You cannot be unborn. God seals you with this Holy Spirit of promise, Ephesians 1.13, until the day of redemption. Um, so don't complicate it. Uh, like I said, if you have not received him as Savior, I pray that today would be that day for your salvation. And that's all I got for you today. Stay blessed, you guys. See you on the next one.